Okay, hello dear friends, good evening. So, Monday evening, let's do uh, a calculus y equal cosine x over 1 minus sine x. So, this is a calculus and we look for the derivative with trigonometry. So when we see this, do not be confused and do not uh, be uh, intimidated. First, we see cosine x, 1 minus sine x. So it's a, a fraction. So it's a division. So we can use a quotient rule for taking this part as a, this part as b. a is cosine x. Let's establish a is cosine x. So a prime is negative sine x, right? We know this. If you do not know it, if you do not remember this, you can always check uh, online um, trigonometry differentiation with such um, uh, with such um, keyword. And for the denominator, we take b as 1 minus sine x, right? And this is 1 minus sine x, so we can use, what can we use? We can use a difference rule, sum rule, product rule, difference rule. So b prime equal to 1, the differentiation, the derivative of 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 minus sine x, the derivative of sine x is a cosine x. So it's actually negative cosine x. Right? So we find a, <coughs> a, a prime, b, b prime. Now we put it back in, use the quotient rule. What is a quotient rule? y prime equal to low d high, low d high minus high d low, over low prime, uh, over low square, b square, right? Now, when we write it down, we can plug in the number b is 1 minus sine x times a prime times negative sine x minus a cosine x b prime times negative cosine x and the bottom part or the denominator is 1 minus sine x square. Now we need to clean up a little bit so is 1 minus sine x square. We do not change anything. Bottom is still bottom. Denominator is still denominator. And we can uh, multiply in. So negative sine x. 1 times negative sine x is negative sine x. Negative sine x times negative sine x is positive sine square of x, right? And here we have negative cosine x times negative cosine x. So it's a positive fu, fu de zheng, negative, negative, make positive. And cosine x times cosine x is cosine square of x. Ooh, that is easy now. Sine 
square of x plus cosine square of x is 1. This is Pythagorean, right? Pythagorean, Pythagorean uh, theory. So on the bottom, this becomes 1 minus sine x. And on the bottom part, is uh, the denominator is 1 minus sine x square 1 minus sine x to the power of 1 1 minus sine x to the power of 2 so we, ca we can cross cancel and the result is 1 over 1 minus sine x and that is the derivative of this function okay Thank you very, very much. Okay, so we have uh, another problem, still is uh, uh, trigonometry differentiation. Y equal sine x plus cosine x square. I am thinking of treating this problem in two different ways. First, we can use, use the, um, the chain rule and take the complete as a. Let's establish a equal to sine x plus cosine x, right? So we can use chain rule. First, we take the derivative of the complete a. So y prime equal to because we take, take this one out, 2 times sine x plus cosine x. This is to the power of 2, and then we need to minus, uh, minus 2 minus 1 is to the power of 1, actually, because we put this one out. We put this 2 take the derivative of the complete thing. And now the second thing, we will time these two. And time its derivative. Uh, sine x plus cosine x, so we need to use the, the uh, sum rule. So a prime equal to sine x the derivative of sine x is cosine x. And the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Right? So now we will time the derivative of the inside. So times cosine x minus sine x. This is this is not a, 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 a prostrophe. This is to the power of 1. So it equal to 2 sine x, cosine x, cosine x minus sine x. So we can see it like cosine square x minus sine square. And that is the result. So this is one way to figure it out. Another way we can do, okay, we can do another way of the same problem, y equal to sine x plus cosine x squared, y equal to sine x plus cosine x squared. We can square it out equal to sine square of x plus 2 sine x cosine x plus cosine square of x. This and this is just the formula we already know. If you, uh, you get confused with so many sine cosine, you can think this as a plus b square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? It's a, an equivalent change. Now, sine square of x 
plus cosine square of x is 1. We use the Pythagorean uh, theory. Plus 2 sine x times cosine x. Mm. Now we take the prime of this. Prime of this function, this function, we can use 1 plus as this complete, right? 1 plus, and then we can use chain rule. And um, so first we can use, this is a sum, addition. So we can use a sum rule. 1 plus the derivative of this complete. And sine, cosine, in between is a multiplication. So we can use product rule, right? So the, the derivative of this will be, we can take this as sine x, cosine x as AB, right? And then the y equal a times b and uh, y prime equal to a prime b plus b prime a that is a product rule right now we plug it in and uh, this a sine let's say a equal to sine x then a prime equal to cosine x this is, uh, you can find it in the online if you do not remember it. B equal to cosine x. So B prime equal to negative sine x. Now we plug in the prime 2, put it right here. We do not change this 2, right? Take the prime of this 2, still this 2. Now, inside, a prime, a prime is cosine x, a prime b times cosine x plus b prime, negative sine x, negative sine x, times a, a is sine x, sine x. So equal to two cosine x square, cosine square, x square, not cosine x square, cosine square of x minus sine x square or sine square of x. Ta -da -da -da. What do we see? Are we seeing the same thing? Yes, we are seeing exactly the same thing. Thank you very, very much. I love you, I really do. It makes me happy.